So I always talk about being an economic liberal, right? And that's true. I mean, I've really thought about it, and when it comes down to it, anything that doesn't involve humanism or humanity in general, I'm very liberal about. Well, because I'm an anti-humanist. I'm an anti-humanist who wants uh, a futurist uh, post-scarcity society. You can picture that. I mean, knock humanity down to a way that uh, a living wage but a lower population. So that would have to be controlled births. But yet, I could think of other ways to knock humanity down that, well, it would probably be pretty controversial, you know. But, well, like, um, or like, uh, suicide would be delegalized, decriminalized. You know, except you wouldn't have permission to jump off bridges. You wouldn't have permission to danger anyone else's life. But if you want to, you could just go into a hospital and be euthanized. You know, forget you. Oh, I'm sad. Bye. You know, gone. You know, you could have jails, prisons that were like luxury resorts. But anytime a felon wanted to be executed, they used to be executed, the organs would be harvested, and everybody's happy. You know? Yes, I could see how problems could arise from that. People could be coerced by the state or by fellow inmates to force them to kill themselves. You know, and then there's the crybaby thing about freaking somebody who might just be sad and could be better, you know, would we, we shouldn't be uh, encouraged to kill themselves. You know, but I don't really agree with that one. Because I'm kind of an anti-humanist. Oh, well, I'm for all for quality of life. But I'm just not for an excessive population. You know, someone can be euthanized, use them. You know, just do them. But not if they're sick and they want to live. Like, I'm a diabetic and I wouldn't want to say, well, we're sorry, but you cost too much, you know, because you're a diabetic and you're just being selfish. So we're going to make the decision for you to get rid of you. No, 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 I wouldn't want that. And I wouldn't want that for anybody else, either. But, as a matter of fact, uh, as far as animals go, just to, since we're all animals anyway, I would say that I would want no animal to be euthanized that was healthy. You know, I just don't see a reason for it. It's horrible. With the puppy mills and everything, and the way the industry treats animals, especially domestic animals, that's just wrong. And, well, and other things, well, anyway, it's like anything that is not to do with race, gender, or sexuality, I'm a liberal about. Well, some sexuality, more like orientation, you know, because I'm, I just, I don't see those three, I'm conservative on those three, but everything else, I'm pretty liberal about. Although I do worry about people's ownership. You know, they put their labor into something, it's their ownership. Why shouldn't, why should they have to share it? But then again, it gets so big that it becomes a corporation. Why shouldn't they have to share it? It's, it's a very difficult design. There's no, there's no absolutes in that. It's just all arbitrary. You know, oh, okay, at this point we just decided that you know, you have to bring in surrender it. What's yours is now ours again. Wow. You know, and sometimes that's right, sometimes that's very wrong, to be honest. You know, I feel sorry for the rich, the working rich anyway. And in any case, let's see, what else? Um, yeah, basically that's it. You know, ah, uh, ah, uh, I can name ten to fifteen things that, you know, uh, green energy, or 10 different things that I'm, uh, liberal about. Uh, environmentalism, green energy, uh, prison reform, uh, 
medical marijuana, although I'm not sure on that. I used to smoke a lot of pot, and I'm not sure that's the best thing, is to have a decriminalized marijuana. But there should be universal health care, so everybody can be taken care of. And I also think prostitution should be put into medical health care. That way it's regulated, even if it's not legalized. Although it would be criminalized, but soliciting wouldn't. So, you know, this is my idea of my post-future scarcity, uh, post-scarcity, which can also be near-scarcity, future, you know, Arcadia. You know, I, I got a pan neo-national, well, I don't like saying nationalist because it gives them all connotations. Just, uh, just an isolationist, uh, protectionist kind of ideal that survives off of um, biofuel and other renewables. You know, so you need a limited population per landmass. That's basically it. Uh, let's see, what else? Yeah, basically, that's it, though. That's a lot of the ways I'm liberal. I could name, you know, if you name anything that's not to do with human beings directly, you know, I'm pretty liberal about it. And some things that are. So I don't know about everybody who says I'm not liberal on things. Because I am. Kind of embarrassing, though, as a cultural conservative. You know, it's like, oh my god, I'm so freaking liberal about that. Like being bi or something in a political sense. You know, you're a real friggin', uh, uh, oh, what's his name? God. Male. <laughs> I want to say Joe McCarthy, but, oh well, anyway, you get it, uh, um, not freaking, um, Pelosi, but, um, God, wait, hey, John McCain, that's it. Jeez, how can I forget that? Anyway, take care, guys.